I'm going to teach you my theory of what we're doing in agriculture, and it's always happened in the world. If you look at this, this um, tree, the sun is coming through there. And through photosynthesis, it's storing carbon and hydrogen. So the carbon comes from the air. Plants are made of 90% CO2. So the leaves are in the air to capture CO2, because you don't see a big hole lined out underneath the tree. The tree comes from somewhere. So it's capturing the sunlight and it's storing it with CO2 and hydrogen from water that it's splitting. Sunlight splits water. It takes a lot of energy to make hydrogen fuel. And the plant is making hydrogen fuel to join on to CO2 to be stored as a carbohydrate, carbon and hydrogen. So it's stored in wood, stored in corn, stored in, in um, whatever you're growing. It doesn't matter what it is, it's, it's stored energy. You put it into your stomach. You put it into a fire, put it into an engine, you unwind the sunlight. Because look at the dip. This is, this is sunlight here, and I'm unwinding it. It's just light. So we're storing light. And that's our business. We're in the, we own the surface rights, and the oil company owns the oil rights and the mineral rights, and we have a surface right, and that's a carbon right. And everyone has to realize they're starting to trade carbon. And they're, they're signing carbon trading contracts with farmers that don't have any idea what they're signing. Because in, in America, the Europeans came and, so, and signed treaty rights with the natives. They didn't have any clue what they were signing. And I'm afraid that farmers today are signing carbon trading contracts for 100 years, guaranteeing that they're going to grow foolish trees for 100 years. So, you know, got to think, we're in this business. <laughs>